Richard, thanks for sitting down to talk to us. Welcome uh, back to yeah. Ipswich Town. Let's start with uh, how'd you like to be known? Yeah, so uh, I think uh, usually in, in football terms, I like to be, uh, everyone calls me like Keezy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm sure that'll be getting uh, <laughs> getting, getting used instead of uh, Richard, unless, mm -hmm. uh, unless I'm in trouble. Uh, <laughs> which, <laughs> um, from, uh, from, from, yeah, usually from my family, that's when I get Richard or my mm -hmm. wife. So, uh, but yeah, Keezy, Keezy's good. Well, Keezy, you're back, at, you're back at Portman Road. How does it feel and how much has changed? Listen, it's, uh, it's amazing to come back, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think uh, when you start on your sort of football journey when I was eight years old to be at the club and had a great sort of uh, upbringing really on, on football and, and how they taught me how to play the game. And um, mm. so, yeah, obviously, you know, it, it's been a few years, but finally back here and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling to finally to finally actually be back at the club and um, yeah, just driving in as well. You know, so many great memories are coming back to me and um, mm. So yeah, I can't wait to can't wait to get out on Portman Road and actually actually represent um, Ipswich out on the pitch. And um, so yeah, it's exciting. And um, you know, it still feels still feels the same a little bit when I was a young kid when I used to used to come here. But um, yeah, obviously the club's moving forward a lot. And um, yeah, it's great it's great to see the club moving in a, in, a, in a really good direction. Why do you feel this is a good move for you this time? And how did the conversations go this summer? Yeah, listen, I think um, I think for me, obviously, on a on a personal level, I think um, you know, starting my career here, like I said before, and to, to to potentially you know finish it here, I think that's a you know that's something that's quite rare in football, and I think that, you know that's a fantastic ending potentially for me, and um, mm. obviously being closer to my family as well in in, in Essex, um, who I've been away from for a long time, um, to have the opportunity to do that, and um, yeah, like I say, my my you know my granddad was a big part of my my playing football, and uh, you know he sadly passed away last year. So for him to to know that I would have um, you know come back here and played, you know he always loved it, switched so much. So um, so yeah, it's nice that I could uh, finally come back. And um, yeah, it all happened uh, it all happened quite quick, really. Obviously, I had some great conversations with uh, with everyone at the club, and I feel like the. You know the way that the, the club's moving forward and, and and the style of play for sure will suit my game and um but not just that um you know even if i'm not on the pitch you know the the the, the role for me is to to help develop the great young center backs that are here and um you know and just try and drive the standard and drive the group and um you know that's what i'm looking forward to doing while you're still obviously focused on on the job at hand how nice is it to to be that step close to the family sometimes that Maybe it gets forgotten about in this game. Yeah, I think so. I think I, I think it does. You know, when you come into walls of like the sort of uh, twilight years of your career, I think you, you definitely think about it a lot more. Yeah. Um, and like I say the opportunity for me to, to 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 do this was 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 something that I was very interested in. Um, you know, that side of it, but more the more the football side, if I'm honest. Um, like I say, having a chat with a with the manager and everyone, and yeah, I just feel like in 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 my stage of my career, this is a perfect fit for me to to, you know obviously perform on the pitch but also give back to, to, to the group and, 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 and help in any way I can. What were the conversations with the manager like? He seems to have been a real drawing factor for a lot of players. Yeah, listen, um, firstly, he's a, he's, a, he's a fantastic guy, you know, first and foremost. I think that's, uh, that's, that's a really key ingredient for, for any, any manager or coach. And uh, yeah, listen, I, 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 know, I know Kieran a little bit, you know, but obviously then having, you know, I actually spoke to him and, 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 and met him now that, um, you know, he's, he's a highly intelligent guy, he's a fantastic coach, um, love how his team plays and love how he sees football. And um, so, yeah, you know, we, we were just chatting about football for ages, to be honest. It was, it was a brilliant conversation. Um, so, yeah, listen, I'm really excited to, to work for him. Um, you know, even though I'm, like I say, I'm at the sort of latter end uh, stage of my career, I still feel like I can improve. You know, I'm always willing to, le to learn and improve and I feel like he can help my game a lot. So. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a nice fit. Me, like I say, coming with my experience and my attributes, but um, also trying to learn and, and and trying to improve as well. No doubt, you've played against some of the, the lads uh, in matches throughout your career. But do you actually know any of them particularly well? Or yeah, no, it's it's funny really. Um, I don't know actually. Obviously, I know Ty from last year of Blackpool. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a really great kid. Um, so yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good to see him again. And um, but yeah, like other than that, really, just playing against a lot of the guys. Obviously, naturally, you play against a lot of them. Um, obviously, Sammy, do you know what I mean, Shawnee. So um, 
yeah, it'd be great to be actually teammates with him now, to be honest. And um, yeah, I've heard great things about the squad. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited to, to meet everyone and, and, and get down to work and uh, yeah, and just try and get this club back to, to where it deserves to be. And how are you feeling uh, physically? You know, ready to hit the ground running? Yeah, physically I feel really good. Um, you know, pre-season went, went really well for me. Um, you know, I think any any pre-season as a player, you you know, you've got to do the hard yards. You know, they don't get any easier, they get a bit older. But um, yeah, I think I think it definitely helps you throughout the season. Um, you know, if you manage to get to get that um, pre-season into your body, and uh, I managed to do that. Um, you know, I had a few, had a bit of a niggle. Uh, you know, the last pre-season, the last pre-season game, just a bit of a bit of a tight uh, tight groin. But um, you know, I've trained trained uh, last few days, so yeah, feeling good and. Uh, yeah, just excited to, to get going. And just finally, what are your personal aims for the for the campaign? You know, on a on a personal front, but also with the group. Yeah, listen, I think on the personal personal level is obviously to help the help the team in any way I can. You know, whether that means when I'm on the pitch or when I'm not on the pitch. Um, I think I think that's important. I think uh, that's one of my you know big strengths is is, is driving sort of the group and, and, and helping in any way I can. You know, um, but also yeah, on the pitch, obviously I want to I want to perform to to, to a high level. Um, but yeah, I, I think everyone knows the sort of aim of, of the football club, and I think um, you know it's been a you know it's been a decent start. Um, hopefully, we can uh, get the result you know uh, you know tonight and for and for the weekend. That'd be a really good start. So um, yeah, just about obviously performing, but yeah, trying to get this club you know to the top end of the league. I think that's the aim for everyone. I think if you ask anyone at the football club, that's the aim. Um, it's not going to be easy. Mm. You know, it's a really tough league. There's some. Uh, some really good teams in there, and we and we all know how 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 the schedules can uh, can can you know affect that. So yeah, I think if we've got the right mentality, which you know I believe this group has with the manager and the coaching staff, you know I think I think anything's possible. Best of luck, Akizi. Thank you.